For the North Louisiana Criminalistics Lab in Shreveport, the construction of a new facility has reached a critical point, if not given the green light, to begin construction soon. Fine. Something Jimmy Barnhill, the lab system director, is at a loss as to why the project hasn't received final approval. We're in dire straits right now, trying to continue to operate in this building that's, we're, we're to the point that if we're going to stay here, I mean, you know, if, if we have to stay in this building, we're going to have to do some major renovations. It needs a new roof, it needs new air conditioning and heating, it needs a lot of new stuff. It's very, very costly. The new North Louisiana Forensic Sciences Center, which was started in 2005 and has the support of the governor and area legislators, is ready to be put out on bid and begin construction, but cannot proceed until receiving the go-ahead from the Commission of Administration and the Office of FPNC in Baton Rouge. We were ready to go with this, um, you know, mid-year last year. And then the administration said, you cannot go to bid yet. They, they said that all the, the money had to be in priority one. The $19.2 million that was in priority five had to be moved to priority one, they said. But that was kind of new news to us because it hadn't always been that way in okay. capital outlay projects. And we were very surprised to hear that, but nonetheless, they would not allow us to go forward with the bidding process. So we've been spinning our wheels now since about, you know, mid-July. We were ready to go. Currently, money is being spent for the aging building's never-ending upkeep, and according to Barnhill, it is at a point that it's urgent that they break ground soon. But all this money that we're throwing towards that is just like throwing it down the drain. I mean, we could be using this money for, you know, new operations in the new facility uh, if we didn't have to keep patching up this old building. I mean, the roof leaks and the air conditioners and the heating systems don't work. But all of the uh, fluorescent lighting in this building is going to be outdated soon, and we'll, they're, they're going to quit baking those big fluorescent bulbs, mm -hmm. and we're going to have to replace all of the light fixtures in this building at the cost of like fifty, seventy-five thousand dollars wow. just so we can start using the new light bulbs. The lab provides forensic science services to 29 parishes in northern Louisiana, a fourth of the state's population. Three major metropolitan areas, Shreveport, Alexandria, and Monroe, as well as Fort Polk and Barksdale Air Force Base are served. This workload creates serious challenges for the staff. You know, they're constantly wanting us to hurry up and get them a report, and, and serving 29 parishes like that, you know, somebody's got to wait. And it's, it's kind of a, uh, it's not a pleasant thing to have to deal with, when, you know, when you have to tell the DA and a certain mm -hmm. parish he's yeah. got to wait because you're working a case in, uh, somewhere else. Barnhill says they're currently about 800 cases behind. He attributes that to funding and the lack of manpower due to the facility size. Uh, of course, the new facility will provide space for expanded DNA and firearm services so that we can hire new personnel. Currently, we don't have any space for new personnel, uh, even if we had the money to hire them. I don't know where we put them. So we're really kind of at a dead end here. I mean, we're just status quo, doing the best we can, and it's not going to get any better. The new facility is slated to be built on the LSU Health campus through a lease agreement and will offer educational opportunities in the development of pathology and in the School of Applied Health. It's a very popular field now, thanks to CSI. <laughs> and, you know, all those, all those shows, if you turn on the TV now and that's all you see. It's made everybody an expert. Barnhill warns of another risk if construction has not begun soon. Escalating costs could increase the cost of the construction of the facility, and then we would be uh, forced to either cut back on the plans, which is going to force us back to the drawing board by making new plans, which is going to be another added expense, or we'll have to seek more funding. The best thing for us to do is to go forward with the plans we have now, and just to, to get in that new facility so we can start uh, providing the kind of service that the law enforcement community needs and deserves. But until ground is broken, there's only one thing the lab scientists can do. We're just forging ahead. You know, we, we know what we need, and, and, and we're just trying to make our case that this is a, a very important project. There's a lot of the work that we do that exonerates people who are wrongly accused. 
And we don't ever get any credit for that. But that's a very important part of what we do, is that all of these backlog cases, there's somebody probably sitting in jail that shouldn't be there.